Hello to everyone and welcome back to this 30 years war battle series focusing on the Swedish period. So last time around we had the battle of the river Leash or the battle of rain and um, with Tilly gone they had to reinstate Wallenstein so he came back and took charge and he was able to quickly recruit troops and went on uh, an aggressive streak towards uh, Gustav Adolphus. Well, not aggressive enough, but he he wanted of he wanted him to or force him to attack. So Gustav Adolphus had moved in and made his position at Nuremberg, um, and Wallenstein instead, even though Wallenstein had more men, he he moved up to a old fort ruin at Alteveste or I think it is I think I read it as die alte veste or D as in the German die alte veste um, which was an old fort ruin where he forced Gustav Adolphus to attack because with the position of this fort ruin he was able to cut off Gustav Adolphus from his supplies and he was waiting for quite a few supplies and the Croat cavalry which we saw a bit in the the last video uh, they were raiding the countryside around Nuremberg so they were low on supplies it should be said here that the numbers of the king at the start here or the start of the uh, story or what you want was 18,000 men in Nuremberg but uh, as I said Wallenstein declined to attack it and instead tried to get the king to attack him uh, but the king was not going anywhere until reinforcement arrived and later on they did, they were able to break through uh, and uh, send off the Croat cavalrymen that were, uh, that were harassing them. And um, yeah, once the king has managed to get his reinforcements together, um, they laid a plan to attack Wallenstein then at his... Uh, in Trent's position. They were expecting him to give up the position and move away but they stayed and so they had to continue the attack and he was dug in pretty well. He's been digging for quite a while um, and the battle did not turn out well for Sweden. So this is one of the few battles um, that the Swedes lost or was a sort of resounding um, failure and this goes for how my leading in this battle turned out as well so the attack on the the fort fight the what they wanted was the the um, Catholic camps laid beneath a hill that the Swedes wanted to take so they could put the artillery there and dominate the camp and in that way win over the Catholics and through attacking that fortified hill with the old fort ruin they had to pass through a forest just like here and this is gonna mess me up quite a bit in my attack and the, the Catholic position is very strong my artillery is not gonna be very useful I placed it over here to have it in the open to hoping that I would be able to um, to shell the enemy but the range of my smaller artillery pieces were not enough to even reach this area so my men were gonna have to attack without artillery support into strongly held defensive position here plus that I gained the discomfort of moving my troops through the forest and not having the best of control of uh, what's going on. It's going to be hard to keep the line as well. I'm going to have some initial success with my cavalry over on this side where I'm able to uh, do quite a bit of damage over here. 
that we will see on these artillery pieces. It should be said though that in the actual battle the cavalry was ordered to dismount to attack the hill and once they did that um, the Catholics saw their opportunity to charge out with their cavalry and you can guess how well that went for the Swedes. You can see my troops marching up here but still a lot of just marching in the forest here trying to organize the stuff. On the same time we've got our leader here which is going to represent the let's see Lars Tos Torstensen which was the commander of the artillery and he actually got captured during the battle and he spent a year in captivity in uh, in Catholic prison as it were Catholic prison sound like Catholic school you have to pray three times a day um, three times I don't know um, cavalry over here not gonna go too well I'm gonna lose this fight the uh, Hockeybus ears are actually stronger than my uh, armored cavalry or it might be the fact that since my cannons had nothing to fire upon they started firing into into the cavalry let's see my men I've gone to sort of I sent sent the men into just two lines because it was too hard to keep the uh, sort of the, form the f historical formations as I went through this so I just made them two lines with gunners in the front pikemen in the back and let's see if we're able to uh, do some damage we're able to do some damage here on the Catholics as they advance but they've been able to send off my cavalry in disarray which is very bad because the other cavalry is locked up in battle which they're most likely going to lose over on the left and now got two more or less in completely intact cavalry units um, being able to you know come around my main my main line here I went for you know let's go 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 all out or go home like go balls to the walls or whatever you say so I uh, sent in the pikemen hoping that I could just cut the enemy down before uh, before the cavalry decided to turn around so we, we're sending in everything here to capture this hill we've been able to inflict quite a bit of damage with our gunnery line but in the long run that was not gonna hold and as you can see the cavalry is now but completely behind my lines and I think we are about to lose the cavalry fight over on this side it's gone on for quite a while I think we yeah we've even sent in General Torstensen to uh, to take part in the battle oh that guy that guy stood up for a bit and then he tipped over um, but he's I believe he's actually gets captured here and then my cannons have be become captured as well I think we managed to hit them maybe once there we go twice we managed to hit them twice with the artillery killed quite a lot and looked uh, cool but yeah at the same time my pike attack has gone into their pikes been able to push them through here no nope, that's my men actually routing I thought we pushed around this unit but we're routing not going too well here either in most of the men are routing now I'm moving the gunners up they weren't firing from their position that they held so we're moving them up to uh, to take part here see if I can uh, shoot the enemy down but I, I quite quickly realized the battle was lost very early on in this battle 
Uh, we are going to retreat for a bit though and make a final stand somewhere there the general goes. Torstensen was captured. Um, we're gonna be able to... I believe it was Torstensen. Or Torsten. Or Lennart Torstensen. Uh, I believe it was him. What if I'm been saying? What if I'm been saying the wrong guy? I think I think it was. Sometimes I get confused about, about among all of the different generals. But I put all the gunners just to attack this unit. Not going too well. Uh, pikemen about to come in in the back here. We got these guys firing. Some men are gonna make it back though. Um, Oh, it looks like we have a... Yeah, I've realized that if I stay there, we're going to die. So I've called an all-out retreat. The Swedes are giving way. And they're running in a complete route at this point. And uh, yeah, the battle is over at this point, but maybe we should we can go ahead and watch the men march around. Spearman still firing. Oh, the, it's the. I thought maybe that was cannon fire. We got some uh, gunners, some uh, Scots. We got one regiment of pikemen. Still going strong. Let's see if we can speed it up a bit as they uh, move through the forest. See when the the actual the units that will actually fight in the end here. So we got. Um, the Scots, we got one pike, we got another unit of missiles, and we got a small unit of Scots over there. They're being hounded by Catholic riders, chasing them as they go, and we got Catholic infantry also turning up here. We can go ahead and take a look at all the dead because there's quite a few, especially around here where we went in hard with the pikes but you can see how we sort of bulged around the enemy same here and there as well so now we're actually starting to fight back we got pikes in the back and the Scots in the front I think we were able to rout maybe one of their cavalry in this instance before we were completely sent off. Scotsmen fight hard.
cavalry is surrounding and the Scotsmen are running. Only the pikemen are standing. Regiment of foot is lining up. Maybe they'll be able to fire a bit. The pikemen were slaughtered, and it's down to this unit. Let's see if they'll be able to uh, get a shot off before the cavalry comes get comes to get them. Percent fire. Two men in the rear rank. Three maybe. Here they come. Defeat. A crushing defeat at that. Uh, let's take a look at the statistics while we can talk about the... Oh, oh no, crap. The overall ones. Um, I missed that. Uh, you can pause and take a look for yourself. Anyways, I have to go now. I hope you guys enjoy this. And hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.